All right, uh, real quick video here. I got an email from a radio operator in, in my state, Michigan, yesterday. And uh, he said that he got one of these from another seller. And he went into the service menu and he turned it up to triple zero, or turned it down, I mean. so. And when you do that, if you, if you have one of these, or say you've gotten one of these from me, and you think by turning it down all the way, which actually turns up the modulation, it's going to help you. It, it's really not. And what's going to happen is, yes, the, the power will come up on a meter, but the power that you're seeing, and let me just, this isn't adjusted like that anyways, but so we'll just key this up on AM. And this is... Uh, the way that I set these up. This is actually my radio that I kept for myself here. I'm waiting on some more. They're they're probably arriving today actually. But with the weather, I'm not sure if they're gonna make it because the weather's horrible here in Michigan. It's so cold and icy and snowy and just uh it's it's bad. I mean I like winter, so to me it doesn't bother me, but you know, I hear that, oh I hate this weather and blah blah blah. But I actually like winter, I like where I live. I like to have all the different seasons. Um, but I know a lot of people hate it, so that's why I say that. So if you over adjust the radio, this is a the proper way. This is really nice. Um, and we already know, at least if you watch my videos, you probably know already because I show this all the time. This is channel 20. Over here where it says stop, it's this side of the screen. This is channel 21. This is the center. So we're looking at channel 20 here. So imagine right here is the center of channel 21. So essentially here would be here on channel 21. Hopefully that makes sense to everybody. This is the absolute center right here on channel 21, but we're looking at that here because this is channel 20. So hopefully you can understand that, where I'm coming from with that. Visually kind of look at it in your mind and say, yeah, okay, this is channel 21. So some of this over here would be a little bit before 21 and so on and so forth. Same thing over here, 27195 would be right here. This is the center of that channel, that frequency, that we're not allowed to talk on on CB. It's in between 19 and 20. It's actually the rate, one of the radio control car channels. Um, there's a story I could go on, but that's not the point of the video. Um, I used to mess with this kid across the street when I was a kid on my CB. It would actually lock his RC car up when I would key up on a, a modified radio on that frequency. But anyways, so what happens is when you adjust the radio to triple zero, you're bringing more power out of the radio, but the power isn't where it should be here. The power is here, the power is here, and the power is actually increased in here too, which is wasteful. Anything past about this point is all wasted power. Now this will get happy, and you'll probably get happy by seeing that. And people will tell you that you sound loud and you sound good, but the problem is there's no way of you knowing where did the power increase come from? You're taking away from here, and you're adding here and here, and that's wasteful, so you're wasting the power. And that's something that nobody really ever talks about, maybe like a handful of guys that are into this hobby that do videos, and, and one of them doesn't even do videos anymore, but uh, that's something that I'm a true believer in. The power should be right with the frequency. If it's not, then it's totally being wasted, and it does you no good. So anything you can take away from this video is don't go into these radios and turn them all the way down because it does not help okay so the last point here is when you do do that if you go in and turn the radio all the way down the people that hear you if they're on the same channel as you they're still going to tell you that you sound good because they've Whatever they've done with these modern type boards in these radios and other 10 meter models and whatnot, they still sound intelligible even running like that. But that still isn't a reason to do it because as I just showed you, why would you want to waste your power and spread your power out beyond where it should be? Because I think we can all agree, everybody wants to get out to the maximum potential whenever they whenever they grab their microphone and they start talking they want to know that they're getting out as far as they can and as loud as they can in a sense and most guys want to get out as far as they can especially if we're dealing with skip you want to be able to get to that other side 
and that's not always possible with the way conditions run and stuff. I mean, you may hear people and they don't hear you. It's just the way the radio works. But uh, everybody wants to get out far and talk long distance and get out the best that they can. Well, if that's truly what you want, then you're hurting that and you're limiting that greatly by doing what you think is actually helping you by going in and, and lowering those levels down to the minimum amount. It does not help you whatsoever, and, and you really don't understand it. And even if I show it a hundred different times, you really can't understand it. You can sit here like someone would have to sit here with me and see radio after radio do the same thing over and over and over just by over-adjusting the modulation circuit. It's going to happen with every radio every time. Some are horribly worse than others, so just keep that in mind too, that not every radio will do it as bad. But they all do it to some degree, and even if it's just a little bit, it's still taking away from that want and desire of getting out the best that I possibly can. If you give yourself the best antenna that you financially and, and maybe geographically and cosmetically and all these other factors that you possibly can get, and you give yourself you know, whatever radio you decide to use, and you're truly happy with all that and that's the best you can possibly do you can totally destroy and ruin all that by just over adjusting the radio so it's a simple thing just don't do it and the power will stay closer to the frequency that you're on which we want to be here when we do this again we key up with the 1k tone you can see the frequency of the radio is pretty much spot on nice nice uh, modulated envelope and really nice there so we still have tons of spacing here and here so there's literally no chance of probably causing any bleed over unless may maybe if the guy was in the driveway or something I mean there are limitations to you know how clean can you make it because sometimes it's based on proximity his receiving antenna your transmitting antenna at a certain point if you're right within you know the neighborhood you're probably gonna still bleed a little bit but we're talking someone across the town or something you, you just don't want to do that you know and again if it's here and here it's taking away from here and that's that's the main goal of the video here and hopefully that makes sense and not everybody cares I know that but you know it's not about power just like I said I don't care about this I can set the, the dead key levels on AM whatever have you but once I'm done with that, I never look at this when I make adjustments. I look at this, I look at this. Those are the two main things. So without those, I wouldn't do what I'm doing. All right, take care, everybody. I look forward to some more of these on the way. 73.